Oh, that's um, that, that, that's so cool. And have you found, so what sort of techniques do you help your clients? Do you help them through like mantras and self-talk or visualization or how do you kind of run them through it? Um, from the writing point of view, one of the first things I'll always do uh, grounding work. And um, we do this before I even let them go anywhere near the the horse that we get them, you know, especially if they come sort of quite anxious, whether they're riding or whether we're dealing sort of with fears in their life, um, we will um, spend time just uh, getting rooted into the ground. And I've got a lovely environment. It's sort of got quite a few trees and quite, you know, sort of uh, quite nature based. So it's quite conducive to just feeling and um, smelling nature around you and just getting everybody grounded and out of their heads first. Um, and then we just slowly build up um, that um, uh, calmness and peace so that then they're ready to get on, on the horse if they're riding or to work with the horse. And um, it's not always just mantras because again, it's no good just using a mantra if you don't mean it. So. Sometimes, again, when people are working with the horse on the ground, they'll say, oh, you know, I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. And the horse goes, no, you don't, <laughs> you know, because it can feel it's just words. And so as we know from manifestation, we have to get into the vibration of that belief or that emotion in order to make manifestations happen properly. And the horse, because they're so tuned into energy, they're obviously, you know, the whole life is dependent on it. You know, they're, they're prey animals. So they're tuned into the weather, they're tuned into sensing when there's a predator around. So we're easy to read, you know, our, uh, our uh, energy field. And so when we're just going, yeah, 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 I'm this, I'm that, they, they can feel it doesn't have the vibration with it. And so this is why working with the horses is so special and so magical because once you truly get into the uh, emotion of believing that you are lovable or um, that your needs do count, then your energy shifts. And so the horse goes, all oh, right, oh, you mean that now? Um, now, I'm probably anthropomorphizing a little bit, but it's, it's a little bit like that because when we're in true alignment, that's what the horse picks up, that energy field to be able to go along. And, and then that helps people learn to feel the um, manifestation, uh, sorry, feel the belief or feel the emotion um, to be able to then take it forward. And then that way they're able to start thinking a little bit more positive maybe if they are riding being able to see themselves um being able to enjoy um trotting or cantering or if they're working on the ground and they see the horse um walking with them in in unison you know so using visualization first energy and vibration next um and then intention third so visualization energy and vibration and then intention and so yeah. visualization, uh, imagination of putting themselves past the jump or, or, or in a relaxed, do you do it after they've jumped it? Like, do you have them imagine like going, going through it or like after in a safe place? Um, yes. So again, we sort it in their mind first. So we take them through, you know, we do the, what I call the fast forward movie. So usually what I do first is go through the worst case scenario. So we do the what if, you know, what if that, and then what if that happens? So what if that happens? And, and by um, keeping at it for long enough, most people realize that even in their worst case scenario, um, they will be able to cope with whatever it is their biggest fear is. And that's what pe most people just need to know that they're gonna be able to cope because 